Hey everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Today's video, what I want to go over is as a brand new 3D printer owner, the first 10 things that I printed on my printer. We're going to go over our test, our tools, some fun prints, and very last is we're going to go over the very first thing that I designed myself and printed off. All right, let's get it started. <laughs> all right so the very first thing i printed which i would think probably most people print when they get their printer set up is your benchy i got my benchy got it all printed kind of tests your overhangs your layer lines just kind of gets your printer going um this is the very first one i printed and it turned out great there's my bench. I recommend everyone do that just to make sure everything's in calibration. Good to go. There's the benchy. And then we got into printing some tools that I know that we would need going forward with printing. So our very first tool that we printed off was our Bamboo Lab Scraper. I wanted to go with uh, a printed scraper instead of a blade. I wanted to go plastic. I was just worried about the metal on the build plate didn't want to scratch it up so i've used this quite a few times and it's been working great you can see that uh, from the little bit of use that i've done there is a little bit of nicking on there but this thing was only 19 grams of filament to print and it took uh, just over an hour the second tool that we printed off was our ams disconnect tool with the AMS tool, you can see any time that you're going to need to disconnect your AMS, you're going to need to remove this cable. And the clip is on the back side, which is very hard to get to. But this will be able to get right underneath, hit that clip, and you can pull it right out. And you're also going to need to remove this filament tube, which just attaches right on there. And slides in, and it'll hit the button, and you can pull it right out. So this is going to be very helpful anytime when you get any clogs or need to remove that AMS from your uh, 3D printer. And our third tool that we printed off was our Bamboo Lab Hoop Shoot. Um, this probably should have been one of the first prints because we used multicolor on our last tools and it made some poop and tossed it on the ground. So. Um, if you've ever used a multicolor printer, you know that whenever it changes filament, it creates what people in the industry called poops. And it just tosses it right out the back of your, your printer. So making a little poop shoot where it shoots it out the back here and funnels it down, uh, just going to help your, your area stay a lot cleaner and way more convenient. The filament poop bin took 222 grams of filament and took four hours and 33 minutes to print all right the next tool that we printed off was our bamboo p1s tool kit or toolbox i'm gonna say that was made specifically for all the items that come with your p1s uh, this does have a latch i don't I haven't used the latch because it's a little hard but we'll get her open but as you can see, you got all the extra stuff that comes with it. It did come with a scraper, a section for your Allen wrenches, uh, the extra hot end, um, and all the things go. Even got more sections for more for more hot ends there. This toolbox actually came on four separate plates took a total of 540 grams of filament and I don't know exactly how long because it took four separate times and throughout a couple days but very handy kind of helping me keep my desk area clean the fifth tool that I printed off was filament clips these little filament clips ooh there we go Came in very handy once I started using enough filament that I needed to change out my colors and needed to 
take a color off that wasn't finished yet. You can see one attached on here. It's just going to hold that filament so it doesn't unravel while it, you're not using it. These filament clips only took three grams of filament and 20 minutes to print, and I printed four at once. Then the next thing that I printed off was my AMS dry pod kit. You can see that here. So these dry pod kits we're going to be able to set in our AMS. We're going to be able to put our hydrometer, hydrometer in the front, which is going to show us if the inside the AMS is collecting moisture. It's going to help us keep us our filament dry while it's in there which is going to be very important and very convenient um, this is i would say if you have an ams a very important thing that you need to print off and get using and this is going to allow us to use the rechargeable desiccant beads which i think in the long run is going to be way more convenient and save us money down the long run because these will change colors when they are spent and you can dry them out either in the microwave or the oven and reuse them. All right, let's get into the fun side of things. Uh, after printing some tools, I wanted to get a few things printed off. And of course, um, having a couple daughters, the first thing I wanted to print off is something for her. So we printed off a couple of flexies like you see everywhere. We printed off one little toothless dragon for her. And then a green snake, a slithery snake. So these were really fun. Uh, printed out really good. On none of these things, I really changed any of the parameters. I just printed them as the, the file had me print them. And I really didn't have hardly any issues with any of the any of these prints so far and daughter loved both of these prints so and then I printed something for me I printed this uh, snowboard wall mount I thought this was really cool I wanted to get my snowboards off the ground they're just kind of laying in the corner I want to get them up on the wall display them and this turned out to be uh, a really cool print um, with these, the snowboard wall mount, it took uh, 261 grams of filament, and it took a total of 14 hours and 10 minutes. I think that was a lot because I did do multicolor. I put the white on top of the mountains, uh, so that added a lot to it with the filament change. Uh, plus, I did have a, a poop shoot clog, which I'll go over in a later video down at why we had that clog but even with that clog and it pausing uh, there is very little uh, layer line you can tell where the where it paused and had to start over again but way better than I thought it was going to be so really cool print all right and the one that I am probably most excited about because this item is the very first thing that I personally designed from scratch, printed off, and is a useful item around the house. Maybe not for everybody, but it is for me. I know my family is happy about it. So I made us a countertop ice maker scoop holder. If you have bought one of the many countertop ice makers you know that the ice scoop doesn't have anywhere to go it wanders off can't find it and i thought this is a perfect opportunity to make something so i made a little scooper or scoop holder and i actually made it to where magnets will go on the back so it will just attach to the side of the the ice maker and right in there very excited about this and down the road, I think this is probably going to be the first thing that I try and, and see if I can sell on Etsy or, or Marketplace or wherever I decide to open up a shop.
All right, and that was my first 10 prints with my new 3D printer. If any of you have any cool or helpful prints for a new 3D printer, drop them in the comments. I'll also be adding links in the description below for all the prints we talked about today. So thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed it, make sure you like and subscribe. You guys have a great day and be kind to yourselves.